Hey, this is Nathan from SoundIron. Today I'm going to walk you through the Phrases tool in Contact 8 and some ways that you can use it with SoundIron libraries. We'll go ahead and start with Emotional Piano. Make sure that's loaded in and all good. And then we're going to go to the Tools and open the Phrases. So now you can see Emotional Piano Lite, the NKI preset is right here, and the Instruments tab here, and then the Tool, the Phrases tool is right here. You can turn that on or off. And then the keys also change. So instead of having a full keyboard to play, you're playing some previously recorded ideas. And the nice thing about this is it will give you some ideas that you probably would have never played yourself. So there's all these presets and we'll start with the first one. You can kind of hear it beforehand. So the blue is like the beginning of the idea from what I understand. And then this is an octave up, an octave up. All right, so I like that. So let's let's put that in. But let's put it in up an octave. Let's say that we put both of those little ideas in and then we just add another piano track so that we can do some low end bassy kind of stuff. So that is one way you could use the phrases tool in an interesting way to just create little ideas, little building blocks that you can then stack more instruments on top of. Another fun idea is to use like an acoustic guitar phrase on a piano. Here is Dance for Afterlife. All right, this one is Drive the World. I really like the one on the F key and the G key, so we could just use those two and Listen to that. So now it's time to switch over to some percussion. So we'll pull up Apocalypse Elements here. So another great example of a good one is like a vintage keys, like a synthesizer. And same thing, we could use a saxophone phrase.
This is Sonosphere's Limitless. This is like pads. Sonospheres also has a randomizer, so you could randomize this, and then you could randomize this, and really get something pretty wild. And when you randomize the phrase, that changes the rotation and the inversion. So this is where like the phrase starts from and this is which samples get triggered. And then you can change the key very quickly. Put a bunch of reverb on that and you got the start of a track right there. So you can see the phrases tool is really nice if you get stuck or if you got writer's block or you're trying to start a track and you just, you just need a fresh idea. And I think it really shines with melodic instruments and atmospheric instruments. That's all for now. Please subscribe here for more videos like this and we'll talk to you soon.